Hello and welcome to Whittam United Reformed Church's family service. Today we are continuing with Urban Saints' Energise programme, looking at the nature of God. And this week we are focusing on grace. So take a look at the next bit of film and see if you can work out what grace is. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! So what do you think grace is? Well, grace is simply getting something good that you don't really deserve. You haven't done anything extra to earn it. It's free, totally free. In the game, the winner got his prize because that's what he deserved to get. But when I gave him more sweets, that was more than he deserved. He didn't do anything more to earn the extra sweets. And that's just what grace is like, getting more than we deserve of something wonderful. So join me in the next section where we shall see how God heaps his grace on one Bible character. Are you ready to see what's in the box today? Let's count down. Five, four, three, Two, one. Once there was a man called Abraham. Abraham and his wife Sarah lived in a big house. In a very big city. Then one day, God said to Abraham, I want you to move, leave your home and go far away. I will tell you when you have got there. So Abraham and his wife Sarah left their home. Abraham and Sarah stopped living in a house and they started to live in a tent. Because they loved and trusted God, they lived in a tent for the rest of their lives. They never lived in a house or a town again. But God loved Abraham, and because he loved him so much, he gave Abraham a lot of things. Abraham and Sarah didn't have any children, and so God gave them a son. God made Abraham rich. He had lots of sheep and some cows. God also made Abraham some huge promises. He promised Abraham that he would have a huge family, his sons and his grandsons and great grandsons would have more children than anyone could count, just like the stars in the sky. And God would give them the whole land to live in forever. God said this because he loved Abraham. But Abraham wasn't special. He was just a man who loved God and did what God said. 
and God wanted to give him things. We call this grace. Giving someone things that they don't necessarily deserve. And God loves us too. And he gives us things that we don't necessarily deserve. I wonder what you like best about this story. I wonder what is most important in this story. I wonder where you are in this story and which part of the story is especially about you. I wonder if there is any part of this story we can leave out and still have all the story we need. I wonder what you think God gives you. But because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Thank you for that lovely reading. As you can see, God's grace isn't just for Abraham. You can spot God throughout the Bible, pouring his grace out on different people. And God's grace is for us too, just like that Bible reading told us. He loves us and forgives us. Isn't that amazing? So let's pray together. Father God, thank you for your amazing grace. You give us so many things we cannot earn or deserve, but you give you freely give them because of your amazing grace. Help me to show grace to other people, treating them with love and kindness, freely given just as you give us. Amen. See you next week. Bye.